Howdy, howdy, and how do you do? And happy fun day, Friday. And today we actually have a pretty interesting challenge that I had to put some thought into. It's from Frying Machine. YP Frying Machine. A game was Peglin Challenge Empty Pockets Orbs. Normal starting orbs plus three orbs of your choice. Relics, none. Your pockets can't fill or your pockets can't fit anymore for the whole game or any for the full full game i guess crucible level five or higher if you want to make it harder on yourself honestly i think this one's going to be quite difficult so we'll see what crucible five looks like what does crucible five do one less refresh and one less crit so that's right at the refresh point that's good. And I already made or gave us our three relics. I mean, our three orbs. And I think you might like them. Little unique here. I think it will be exciting stuff at the very least. So as you can see, we have the old splat orb here. The reason I put the splat orb is we're not going to have much damage output for one. So if we can get the splat orb going, We'll have that being able to cause us to do more damage at a time. So each peg, it makes it now durable. So then we can do hit the peg more times and do more damage that way. And then you see we got the ether wheel for refreshing. Since we only have one refresh, I kind of thought cruise ball five was the refresh one. Wasn't quite for sure on it, but now I am for sure. And now that I know that, I am even more glad of the decision we made. We do want to just dig basic fights. The problem that we have is not having a way to heal. That is going to be our biggest weakness. And I did think about that hard, long and hard for a while. Just figuring out what we should do about that. If we should put a healing orb in or if we shouldn't. And ultimately I did decide against giving ourselves a healing orb. Just because if we need a heal, we can purchase the healing here. We don't necessarily need that healing. But that's my thought process. I could be way wrong once we get into this. We could discover I was way wrong and this is going to be a whole lot harder than anticipated. But actually, I think it's going to be very hard. I don't mean it by then anticipated. I think this is going to be very hard with no uh, relics. And we only have one form of pierce and it's a bold orb. So we have no aerial piercing. And our bold orb definitely is going to be the next thing that we need to level up. I chose the ether wheel over the uh, rest orb for refreshing because the refresh orb doesn't do as much damage. The ether wheel actually does surprisingly decent amount of damage. And that's what we were, do we need an elite fight? I don't think there's a reason behind fighting elite, but I guess we'll fight it anyway. I don't think there is any added benefit to fighting an elite here aside from just straight flexing on them bad boys flexing on everything here decent decent hit the bomb whenever it spawned is beautiful I do just want to throw you probably on this direction Mm, decent amount of work now you going in here making everything in here rubberized and durable is exactly what I was hoping for because if we ever get a refresh which we don't need it we'll be taken care of go ahead and do you do we need nah, might as well as upgrade you we can hit the shops and get I was about to pick up a intentional oboe we can hit the shops and get rid of our orbs. I don't think there's anything against getting rid of them. At least in the rules there wasn't. So I probably would prioritize removing some of these orbs over upgrading them. 
but that is just my professional take on it. Bold Orb is actually useless against this fight, so I'm glad it gave us this fight. Really showed us that our Bold Orb has a Achilles tendon, or Achilles heel, however you want to call it. Upgrade our ether wheel, please. I think we continue on. Don't need to worry about going to that elite fight. We beat that other elite fight pretty, pretty well. I don't know why I'm trying to grab these relics because that would be very, very annoying if we actually accidentally grabbed one. Ooh, starting with a dag orb here should get rid of that front one. Beautiful. Let's apply some rubberization to some of this map. Let's throw you out. I am quite pleased with our current outcomes. Granted, this is just the first area. We only have one pierce. There is drawbacks. There's a shop coming up. So maybe we just upgrade our stones for now before we get to the shop and then worry about getting rid of some stuff. When that time comes, we skip chests. We'll take fights for money as we need the Mune. But you can see this ether wheel, a four eights, quite a, quite a good bit of damage. I mean, I think that's the same damage as stone does. It's kind of sad that our, uh, Ooh, this is not as sad. We'll get rid of the plant. Our splat orb is a 4 8 as well, but it's down at the bottom, which I guess we didn't even need it. Uh, it's actually looking like it might be coming together for us a little bit. We'll get you, skip you. We did lose 5 HP. Was that from misnavigation or did we actually get hit? We got hit by, by a um, bat, didn't we? I think we got hit by a bat. We'll remove, I believe, just a stone. Just a level 1 stone is fine to get removed. Empty our pockets a little bit more. We don't need it all in there. The Dagorb's good if there's an easy crit like that presented to us. And then you'll be good. We get rid of those plants. You'll refresh the board. I think I put decent thought into this. We'll go ahead and upgrade another orb. Oh, I guess we should have healed. I think we might be fine. The splat orb's not going to be that great here, per se. 100 damage, not shabby. Going into you, that's a 4-8, almost 100 damage. I'm going to throw the splat orb into the center if I can. Didn't make as many as I hoped. Seventy-six is okay amount. Some rubberization there. Hit that refresh and I'll be a little happier with us. Now that is a lot of damage. Well, I just skipped our high level one for a no level one. We can't grab a boss relic. Those were pretty nice boss relics, but we cannot grab them. You might be good here. I just think we're going to be struggling quite a bit. Honestly, I think I'm going to skip you and try to get rubberized, rubberizing this bottom. Because if we could rubberize that bottom, it's going to be a little bit better for us. Okay, amount of damage. 
Oh, you're supposed to hit the refresh over here. Okay, yes. This is where we're going to find our weaknesses and our strengths within our build for sure. And I think some are uncovering themselves now with how much damage we're taking. That's fine because we can just spend our money to heal. I think we can you on. We can get rid of another one of our stones. I think we'll be happier, a little bit more content with ourselves. Maybe even get rid of the dag orb. Really get that turnaround going. Skip. Don't care which way we go, left or right. Um, I say I didn't care. Now I kind of do care. I should have just thrown the bold orb, I think. Because you're not going to hit that crit, are you? Which I guess you didn't really matter anyway. Ah, damage wise, we are definitely not there. Are we fighting the wall? No, we're fighting a thing that needs pierce. Oh, shoot. Say so we just heal here, upgrade our dag orb. We're going to have to have some kind of damage output here. I would love to get rid of more, but we can't afford it. Awful fight. Awful, awful, awful fight. I hate this fight. I absolutely despise this fight. But we did get kind of lucky here in the sense that we got rid of every one of the shielded enemies. And the fact that you dodge that refresh is kind of sad. Big refresh hit. Perfect. Um, we'll take the heels probably. What do you think? Take the heels, move on down. We don't want to see any more relics. Skip. I think we were wanting to take the center route here. Skip. Well, here's a good damage uh, determinant if we're doing enough damage. Well, I guess we're not worried if we're doing enough damage. We're doing it. We're worried if we have enough pierce is more of our concern at this point. This current juncture. Our sphere definitely, I mean, our splat orb definitely did not pop off the way I was planning on it to pop off in that current state of mind. So. Yes, Splat Orb popped off a little bit there. It's kind of like our precursor to what the future holds for us, like how the map is gonna work for us. Because it's definitely the determinant of durability and the amount of pegs. It's supposed to take the, it's supposed to replace, in theory, the gift that keeps on giving is what I wanted it to replace. I think we lost. Dang it. We lost. Oh, we wanted to have had enough damage for the wall. We wanted to have had enough pierce for that ballista. 
But I think if we could have got past that, I think we would have been just fine. But the Act 2 bosses are definitely harder, I think. Let me know what your three uh, orbs would be. And maybe we can try it out in the one of our future runs. But thank you so much for tuning in this Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful morning, wonderful evening. I am exhausted. Oakley is exhausted. It's time for our Betty Bye. So thank you. And I look forward to talking with you all later. Bye-bye.